What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel of Absolute Rebuilds. Today we're going to work on a Jaguar XK convertible again because we need to change out the wheel bearing and the upper control arm as well. And by the way guys we need your help because we got some faults inside our system which we cannot trace. For some reason we got still this fault, the tire pressure fault, we got a fault in the suspension and the PDC which is here is also not working so we really need your help to figure out uh, what we can check we hook it up to the snap-on computer and to other devices to uh, check all the error codes but unfortunately we cannot source the problem okay guys so we got a little bit of a problem with the Jaguar uh, unfortunately it gives a error in the drive line on the screen so we checked out the, the jack, checked all the wheels and tires and we found out that the rear bearing is completely gone so we have to change that also the upper control arm is also completely gone I think due to the plate inside the bearing so unfortunately our second hand part failed us so yeah we need to press in a brand new bearing so let's do that and get her ready for inspection almost got the complete assembly out it needs to come out a bit more out of the housing but then we got the first part pressed out so we got a bit of a problem as you could see unfortunately the bearing jumped out of the housing with still a piece that's totally rusted out on the shaft so that's something that we need to figure out how we can loosen that one we finally have access to the C-clip that we can remove and then we can press the bearing out. So currently I don't have the special tool to shrink the clip. What I did is just get two screwdrivers and a plier and then press it back together and pull it out. So after hassling we finally got the clips out. Now it's time to put it once again in the press and press the old bearing out. And here's the old bearing. So yesterday we threw on the hub assembly, threw on the wheel, tightened the hub assembly all around 
And what we did is firstly check if there was any play and how you can check if you got any play on your bearings is just grab your tire at nine and three and just try to move it around. As you can see, there's no play whatsoever. The next step, what you want to do to check for the play is grab 12 and grab six and check if there's any play as well. As you can see, the complete car is moving. So we don't have any play on our bearings. What we're going to do next is take off the tire and remove the top control arm. So here we got the control arm on the car. It's bolted with three bolts. There's one here on top of the hub assembly, one going into the rear and one here in the front. We got our new control arm right there. So let's install it. Okay guys, to give you a quick tip, this bolt of the upper control arm is very hard to reach. I tried everything, even um, removing the shock a bit to get easy access, but it's not doable. What I did is got an old 18 mil wrench and just cut it off so the little piece can fit inside the column here and it's easy to turn loose. Here's the piece, by the way. So you need to use your floor jack. Otherwise you cannot put in the bolt of the shock absorber. Okay guys, so we fixed the wheel bearing, fixed the upper control arm, but once again, we're quite stuck at the fault codes present inside the Jaguar. We still got the tire pressure, we still got the park distance control, which is, which is giving faults, and we got a fault in the suspension. Once again, we checked everything with a snap-on computer and some different devices, but unfortunately, we cannot find the issue of this car. So if you got any knowledge, if you come up with any idea, Please leave a comment down below or send us an email at info at absoluterebuilds.com. With that being said guys, thanks for watching and hopefully see you guys in our next video.